Hi, um, this is Bob from outside Boston, Massachusetts. It is Sunday, August 24th, 2014. It's the last day of the 12th week on the Waltz Diet. Um, <clears throat> this is a video in a part in a video series I do update once a week on Sunday morning. And it's in two parts. The first part, I do a short reading to assess how my speaking is going while on the wall diet over time. In the second part, I talk about what happened the past week, which in this case is the 12th week. So here's my reading. Okay. There is never a fee or eligibility requirement. One call is all it takes. Staff are available during normal business hours, Monday to Friday. After hours appointments are available as needed. All service like staff conversations are confidential. So that's my reading. And now part two is where I discuss the events of last week, which was the 12th week on the diet. Uh, this was an also not a good week. I, I feel like I've regressed. On July 30th, I had the first symptom where I had fatigue and a uh, headache after ingesting coconut milk and I think berries as well. That has not gone away. In fact, it's gotten worse. Um, lately, uh, there have been days where it's gotten so bad that it took time at all, just in case to, you know, so it'd be less painful. Uh, I, the problem is that I stripped down my diet to get rid of anything that was medium or high FODMAP. So all my, everything I eat has to be low FODMAP and on the walls of diet, which it, I don't think that's been a good thing because all I'm eating is salmon, beef heart, and grass-fed beef, and spinach, uh, romaine lettuce, and arugula, and seaweed. I took everything out though, and consequently, my legs feel like they're getting more tired. What really summed it up was actually this morning, it was difficult to get out of bed again. So I'm thinking of, of gradually putting back the things that I had lost, that I had stopped in the diet to see whether I can tolerate it or not. Uh, I'll put the list on my, I don't know, it'll be up there on the screen, my proposal for what I'm going to do to add back the foods I haven't been eating. Uh, so that was, it's another, I've been on the stripped down version of the diet for three weeks, and it seems like it's having a bad effect, even though I am eating uh, vegetables and proteins, but it, I guess I'm not eating enough of the vegetables I need. The, despite that, um, there is some good news, which is I do notice my dexterity in my hands is improving. And at the same time, my legs are getting weaker and suffer to get out of bed. So I don't, you know, it's, uh, it's really a depressing, uh, to say the least. Anyway, that's what's been going on. And I'll be back next week to, oh, one other thing, I am going to the doctor this Thursday coming up.
He's a food allergist. And apparently they didn't do some tests to see if I have any food allergies. The basic problem is it all started with uh, coconut milk. And so I then figured out that I needed to be on this low FODMAP diet. And this is all... I think I'll reverse that because it's having bad effects on the MS symptoms. Uh, anyway, I'll be back next week to talk about what happened on week 13. And uh, next Sunday, I'll make a new video. That's it. Bye-bye.